What's going on everyone and welcome back for another video on Infinite Magic Red and today we are going to talk about the Endless Cloister but more in details about that specific boss because you might think that he is impossible to kill, alright? Every time you are taking a turn he is just one-shotting your entire team. Is it correct? But don't worry because he is not bugged at all and there is a super easy solution to beat him, you are going to see that in a moment but just before I have to quickly talk about Aptoid. This week and only this week on Aptoid, my promo code Actar I am is going to be available between the 12th and the 19th of February. So make sure that you are going on your App Coins wallet, click on Rewards in the bottom right corner, click on promo code, and then you paste Actar I am. You send, and then you are going to get 5% more cashback on all purchases in the game. So this week only we have some limited packs in the game for Valentine's Day and if you check that one cost $10 you are forced to buy the first one if you want to acquire the second one for $40 you have a one copy of the new legendary hero Bofani don't worry she is not a limited hero and then you have a hundred dollars pack and inside you have some limited heroes but there is no Sun Wukong for now and some limited time echoes and you have also some rune chests and other stuff in inside so if you want to buy them you need to buy that one first then that one in second and that one in third place so if you are using up to it you are gonna have to spend 37 euros you are gonna get six euros in cashback that you are gonna be able to reuse to buy other packs in game but if you are using my promo code actor I am this is the cashback you are gonna get five percent more instead of six euros seven euros 78 and that's only for forty dollars pack so now Let's imagine you want to buy a pack that costs $100. For example, you are a big spender and you want to buy some red diamonds to buy some uh, blessings in the action house. Uh, so just click there and let's have a look to what you are going to get. You are going to pay 92 euros and you are going to get 20 euros in cashback this week only using my promo code. Otherwise, you are going to get 14 euros instead of 19 without my promo code. So if you are a big spender planning to spend a lot in the game to buy some extra stuff for your account, make sure that you are both using up to it and my promo code actor I am you are gonna save a huge amount of money thank you so much for using my promo code okay so there we go uh, if you have a look to the bus guide you can see that in fact every time you are gonna uh, take a an action with your heroes if you are using a basic attack he's gonna have only 40% chance to counter attack and versus 100% if you are using a skill with your heroes no matter if you are attacking the bus or just using a skill on your heroes uh, this is important to take that into consideration also he has a huge amount of mastery resistance 200 40% and so he's gonna take less dot damage and that's another annoying thing right he can one shot you uh, even if you have damage immunity and immortal on your heroes that's also a pr an issue and if you have a look he has only one in speed stat so he will never take a turn, in fact, he is only counter-attacking your heroes. So if you have a look to the fast clearance lineup, nobody was able to beat him. I'm on difficulty 32 and I can probably beat 33 or 34 with the team I'm gonna show you. But before, let's try to use the most broken team in the game. That one with Little Jack, all the limited heroes, in fact, that team is able to destroy the entire content in the game. But what about that boss? It's just impossible to use that team versus that bus. He's gonna destroy my heroes. Look at what is gonna happen. Look at that. I already lost two heroes with only two hits. Lost my Nordak, my Jack and Roll, and my Lydia. Six turns, 0% HP lost on the bus, okay? I'm gonna try to change the team and to use the most broken hero we had recently. So I'm gonna remove Jack and Roll and I'm gonna put that guy just to just to see because I'm gonna have a huge shield and a lot of tenacity on my heroes thanks to him. Is it gonna work? Look at the damage taken by my little Jack. Already lost the apple and the big shield. It's just a matter of turn now before my entire team dies. Okay, turn number 30, and I lost two heroes already. 
And now it's just not gonna work. It's just a matter of time before I, lo I lose other heroes. So I'm not gonna uh, continue the fight. I'm gonna quit and I'm gonna show you the right team to use there. It's gonna be really easy, in fact, to understand. This is the team. Who is in the team? Timmy. So what is gonna be the goal? The goal is gonna be to break the damage of the boss and you are gonna see that you are gonna be safe after that. Remember that if you check uh, the description of the boss, his speed stat is fixed at 1. So he will never take a turn, right? So if you inflict debuffs on him, he will always have the debuffs, okay? So this is why Timmy is an amazing hero there. First of all, with his passive, he's gonna reduce by a lot the crit damage taken by your heroes, okay? Second thing, he's gonna apply attack down 40%, crit rate down 50%, and crit damage down 60% all at once on the boss using only one skill. And so it's gonna uh, lower by a lot the damage you are gonna take. Lydia is is there to uh, reduce your cooldowns but also to apply the consolidation to during the entire fight this is her passive a consolidation with a unique buff on your heroes so you are gonna take way less damage she's gonna increase the attack of little jack so little jack is gonna be able to deal more damage and she's gonna reduce the cooldowns on both little jack and nordak so i'm gonna have more shields more damage immunity and launch my ultimate more often with little jack and so deal more damage during the fight Little Jack is also a mandatory hero there. He can basically apply an extra attack down 40% on the boss with a unique debuff. And so it can accumulate with the a debuff of Timmy reducing by 40% the attack of, of the boss. And that's a huge thing to have. And finally I'm using Huff because the boss is gonna take a lot of crit, uh, a lot of direct damage. And Huff is there to lower his defense and tenacity by 60% and also apply feebleness 1 increasing by 20% the damage he's gonna take. So uh, we are gonna have a look to the fight because you have to manual the start. In fact, if you are starting using a skill, he will one-shot your heroes. So you have to use the basic attack with Lydia until it works. In fact, you have to use that until your Norda can use the ultimate. And there, it didn't work. So you have to just retry. And there we go, the first hit was okay. But now she's taking a second turn, so I have to be lucky a second time. And this can be really annoying if you don't, don't have any luck. I got lucky, now I can use the damage immunity with Nordak and I can run the fight in auto and now I'm just gonna have to wait. Look at that. Uh, if you have a look to the debuffs on the boss, attack down 40%, crit rate down 50%. He missed the crit damage down 60%. It's okay, he's gonna have cooldown reduced in a few turns thanks to Lydia, and then I'm gonna be able to uh, lower his crit damage again. And if you check also, tenacity down 60%, so he's gonna take more crit damage, and defense down 60%, so he's also gonna take more direct damage. And attack... Uh, 7 layers on 8 layers maximum, he is gonna have 40% less attack, thanks to Little Jack. And just have to wait now. He will never take a turn, so don't count on the HP burning layers on the bus, it will never deal damage to him. But it's just a matter of time now, until Little Jack stacks the pumpkins on him using the ultimate multiple times, and once he's gonna have 8 on him, he's gonna start doing more damage during the fight. So, 99% for now, but don't worry, it's gonna uh, decrease faster in a, few, in a few seconds. There I am after 100 turns. I still have 4 heroes alive, I lost my health, but it's okay because he was there only to apply the defense down and the tenacity down and the feebleness one. So he is not doing that much damage and now I'm even safer because my heroes play less turns before they apply their buffs again. And so I am safe with the remaining heroes and the boss is gonna die faster in terms of turns I mean. So I just have to wait 114 turns and he is 50% uh, HP. So just have to wait another 100 turns and then the fight is gonna be over. And look at that, there we go, 170 turns and only 9% HP remaining on the bus. That team works so well, so I'm, I 
can probably beat the boss on this difficulty 33, 34 and maybe even 35. I'm gonna have enough turns. So the important thing is to destroy the boss by breaking his damage. Attack down, uh, attack down, uh, crit rate down, crit damage down, uh, everything you can to lower his damage. And it's working as you can see on the screen. So you can replace some heroes in your team. So if you don't have Timmy, you can use instead a Freak. He's also going to reduce the attack of the boss and the crit rate of the boss. You can have uh, HAL 9000 working well also, doing the same. And instead of Huff, you can use your Ulcaster. If you have Ulcaster, he can deal some direct damage. Allow were the defense and the tenacity of the boss by 60% or so, you can have also, um, what is his name? I don't remember. Uh, Amalik, you can use also Amalik. Let's have a look. That's Amalik. Defense down 60%, tenacity down 60% on the ultimate and he's gonna deal some direct damage. So you can use these heroes if you want. I uh, hope that you enjoyed the video. If it's the case, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Have a nice day and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.